Hello, good morning. Welcome to lesson four of the course Developing Web Application with Angular Frontend and ASP.NET Core Backend using RadSync. In this lesson, we are going to create thumbnails for account holders pictures in the account data grid. First of all, I'm going to ensure that my SQL Server service is running. So, yeah. Okay. The SQL Server service is running. So now that it's running, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open browser. I click on run scene and select one as administrator. I'll click on yes, user account control. I'm going to open the application that we have been working on, which is Bank of Angular. So I can just double click on it. And I'm going to close this dialog. Now, I want to work on the accounts uh, data glitch. So I'm going to select the account view here. Yeah, so I'll, I'll, I'll double click on it. It appears in, in the editor window. So now I'll click on that data glitch to select it. And after selecting it, I'll click the ellipsis for for the for the columns. So the column stop comma. So like I was saying, click the ellipses for columns. Then uh, we we'll go to photo. We we'll select photo. After selecting photo, then we are now going to click. We are going to click on open template designer. So I'll click on it. Then I go to my toolbox section. I'm searching for image. So I drag and drop an image here. So, so after adding the image, I will now go to this place. I'll click on the ellipses by the path property. Now I will set the path for the image to be data's data dot photo so after setting the part of the photo to be dollar data dot photo i'll click ok now after clicking ok the next thing i'm going to do is i'll go to style then i'm going to set the width of the photo to be 40 pixels and the height to also be 40 pixels. Now, the last stuff I'm going to do is that I'm going to run the project. I'm going to run the project. So I click run. So Angular has successfully compiled the stuff saying that it's a uh, binding to endpoints defined to use extra. So what I'm going to do is, is that I'm going to stop running the application using Kestrel. I'm now going to dis deploy it to IX. So I'll click on stop. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do, let me look at my settings before I deploy. Okay, HTTPS. I'm going to click cancel. So it's time for me to deploy. In order for me to deploy to IS, I'll click on deploy. Deploying to IS. Uh, this is the third version of this app that we are, we are developing. So this is the third iteration. So I'm going to change this to Bank App Angular V3 to represent the third version. 
So the next stuff I'm going to do is finally I'll click on deploy. Okay, so the application that was deployed, that's the third version that has been deployed, has opened in the grid. Uh, you can see my, you can see my, my peak in the second record. Let's go ahead and add a photo to uh, the first record. Let's edit the first record. Double click. Uh, suppose the, we are editing the name to John Wintapo. Uh, then let's upload a pic. Please upload account with that photo. Uh, go to pictures. Let me use this fella. So. I click save. So we have come to the end of this uh, lesson. Uh, in this lesson, we learned how to uh, configure uh, image thumbnails in the data grid. Thank you for watching.